How do we find the length of the sides of a rhombus? In this video, let us see how to find the length of each side of a rhombus when the perimeter is given and the length of the diagonals is given. Look at the first type of problem. The perimeter of a rhombus ABCD is 108 centimeters. Find the length of each side of the rhombus. In a rhombus, all the sides are equal. And the perimeter of a rhombus is 4 times the length of each side. So, the strategy to find the length of each side is to divide the perimeter by 4. Hence, in the rhombus ABCD, length of each side is 108 divided by 4 which is 27 centimeters. Let us take a look at the second type of question. In the rhombus ABCD, the length of the diagonals AC is 24 cm and BD is 10 cm. Find the length of each side of the rhombus. The strategy is to consider one of the right angled triangles formed by the diagonals and one side of the rhombus. By applying Pythagoras theorem, we can find the length of the side. Let us consider the triangle AOD which is right angled at O. How do we know this? In a rhombus, the diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees. We can find the length of AD which is also the hypotenuse of triangle by Pythagoras theorem. We have AD square equal to 12 square plus 5 square which is equal to 169. AD will be square root of 169 which is 13 centimeters. So each side of the rhombus is 13 centimeters. Let us conclude. To find the length of a side of a rhombus when perimeter is given, Divide the perimeter by 4. Length of the diagonal is given. Divide the length of each diagonal by 2. Consider one of the right angle triangle formed by the diagonals and a side. Apply Pythagoras theorem to find the side.